guys this is tutorials uh, my name is Alex and in previous tutorial we created this uh, iPhone 7 mockup in Adobe Illustrator and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create uh, this mockup using HTML and CSS so we are going to create a container with a position relative and class font every child element of this container will be with position absolute then we, we will create a screen div with the class screen for styling purposes and flip uh, for uh, our animation logic and uh, this uh, screen element would uh, have front and back child elements with the back face visibility hidden so you can see either front or back of uh, our screen then we will create a button input via type checkbox and uh, followed by label for styling purposes and uh, the basic logic of our animation we will ask browser to see whether our checkbox is checked so you tra please transform our screen if it's not checked please return it to the uh, previous state so first thing first, let's start with the, our project folder. There is there are only two required uh, files here: index.html and uh, style.css. I put style.css into CSS folder. I also use sas uh, and uh, gulp for handling all the hard work for me. It's a uh, convert sas into CSS. It's add the uh, vendor prefixes and also it's or inject CSS and HTML without reloading my browser. Let's start uh, by adding some HTML. So, first of all, we need to uh, create a section with the class form. It will be our container. And inside this container, I should create input with the class btn and, uh, and id toggle and uh, change the type of our btn from text to checkbox and as you can see it's checkbox so we can check it and I check check and check the next step is to add div with the class screen and the class flip and inside this div I'm going to create two sections first of uh, this section is going to have class front and second section with the class back for our animation and here I am going to add two headers and inside these headers I am going to write front and back and last I am going to add label with the class btn for my styling purposes. This label is follows the input, so we can uh, hide this uh, field actually by adding the styles to this label. So once we add uh, our HTML structure, we uh, let's dig to our uh, style as CSS, and here I have some. Uh, color variables. If you're new to SAS or uh, any preprocessors, uh, uh, CSS preprocessors, um, uh, think about variables as a placeholders for values. So I can, uh, once defined, uh, I can use them uh, wherever I, I want in my uh, style sheet, and then it will be rendered within the plain CSS file into the hex values that I defined here. Uh, then I have a reset, it uh, resets the default margin and padding and sets the box size into border box. And I have two helper classes, it uh, help to align all elements uh, that have position uh, absolute to the center. And uh, one is circle, 
that has border radius uh, 50% and uh, adds the circle shape uh, to uh, uh, any element. It also has a background black. I know it's not the best practice, but uh, it's uh, uh, perfectly suits for this small and small and very simple uh, project. So let's add some styling to our container with a glass form. First of all, I want to define the width of this container. It should be 221 pixels. Next, I want to add height. It should be 448 pixels. Background color. I'm sorry. The ground color should be uh, this gray value. Now we have this uh, rectangle. We need to add border radius. Twenty eight pixels to round the corners, and we. I also want to set the position of horizontal centers and uh, make some uh, top margins. Margin. 3M uh, Auto. There is it. And I also want to add a position relative. And uh, uh, we need to add position absolute for every child of this container. We do th such a things in uh, plain CSS, but in SAS we we are allowed to nest our elements, so we do we can do something like that. Uh, it provides a scope, and this is uh, asterisk is. Uh, uh, means all, all the elements inside our phone need to be a position, position absolute, like so. So next in my, uh, my list is the screen, uh, our, our screen should have width 300, uh, 200 pixels. It should have height of 350 pixels. And the ground we need to set to this value. This value, it's screen. Like so. And I also want to add a top value because now it's uh, zero. I need to set to 53 pixels. I grab all, all of my values from Adobe Illustrator mockup. I should uh, take this. And uh, now I want to add the circle and central classes for uh, my uh, elements. So I am going to add the circle for our buttons. And then I also want to add center to my screen and my circles. Like so. It aligns all the position all these uh, child e elements to the center. The next step is to add some styles to our button. First of all I am going to uh, add width 28 pixels and height also 28, it's a circle. Okay. 
We have the ground here, style it in circle. I also want to add border. Border one pixel solid. And I want to I want to use uh, my darken function size sas, and it accepts two parameters. First of all, the hue color. Uh, in my case, is black, and uh, the value uh, that I want to color. In my case, it's ten percent. Oh, I have a mistake here. And I want to set the bottom value of my bottom value of my button and set it to 70 pixels. Beautiful. I think I have some mistakes. Oh, of course, 342 42 pixels. I'm sorry for that. Uh, 342 pixels. The height of the screen is 342 pixels, not 350 pixels. So it's not all of my styles. I also want to add the cursor pointer. Now we uh, haven't a clue that uh, this uh, button is clickable. Because that's why I want to add cursor pointer here. And I want to add a hover state. In plain CSS it should be something like that. But inside uh, inside size I want to nest my rules and use self operator and so hover state and then the hover I want to darken the background on 50% very very dark but it's still very subtle as you can see it's very very subtle but it's okay for this project next uh, Next I need to add some uh, animation uh, logic and I also want to start back and front view inside my screen. So first of all I want to add some styles for front and back. I uh, want to define this to 100. Oh, there is a mistake this to 100% and height to 100% then I am going to make a back face visibility hidden it's a critical rule we simply can go without it and I show you how it works a bit later when you apply your transformation in 3D space, your element is still is plain. It's like a paper has front view and back view. And when you rotate it 180 degrees in the into the space, you can see back view. But uh, when you apply the rule back face visibility to hidden, your back view become transparent. So back face visibility hidden. I also want to add some back styles. I want to transform rotate it to 180 degrees. Rotate Y 180 degrees. And I want to set uh, another background color background yellow it's as this yellow color and as you can see if I do not transform 
we have seen our back. Then we transform it. We can see, but with the back face visibility off, we see our back and see it's transformed 180 degrees. And then next we are ready to add uh, animation. First of all, we need to toggle. Toggle is our input. Uh, we need to ask browser if it check it. Please do something with our screen. This is a sibling operator. It's a direct sibling operator. It means that uh, if you are in followed by uh, next element and both your input and the div uh, share the same parent element. In this case this uh, direct uh, operator should work. So we need to screen center. I also want to add flip. So we need to target the flip in this case so once uh, our uh, would be checked please do something with this uh, flip uh, element flip plus and we're going to rotate it rotate y and 180 degrees so our animation is working but we haven't seen our back screen this is because the browser treats our 3D animation like a plain one. And solution in this case to ask browser to preserve the 3D nature of our animation with the property transform style. We need to apply it to the parent element. Transform style is uh, defines how uh, how your child elements should uh, behave in the uh, 3D transformations. So we need to add preserve, preserve 3D. And now we have uh, our animation. We, we also can add a transition to smooth our animation. I add transition for all properties and set the transition uh, duration to 0.6 this adds this nasty uh, flip animation and the last but not least I want to set perspective and uh, I'm going to show you with some very 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 <laughs> with some very extreme values of 100 uh, pixels now if you set to 400 perspective it should be like that but uh, as for me I am perfectly fine with the perspective of 700 pixels and this is it this is our uh, minimal value product our iPhone 7s mockup with the flip, flip animation. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, please thumb up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I will come back to you very soon. Thank you for following the end.